Welcome back, friends. Okay, this week's shot of serotonin is brought to you by Commercial Jingles. You will not be able to get out of your head for give or take a week. And I will give credit where credit is due because Angry Producer Charlie inspired this week's theme. So if you have any qualms with what I'm about to show you, blame him because, like I said, the clips will get stuck in your head. So let's talk about one of my favorite lunch meats, bologna. Yeah, I said it. Now, I feel like it's an unpopular opinion to like or even admit to eating bologna. However, in my opinion, it's just like eating a flattened out hot dog. So without further ado, let's revisit one of the catchiest commercials and one of the cutest kids ever. My Oscar Meyer, the first name in Bologna. How's that? Oh, look how cute that little kid is. And that is one way to learn how to spell bologna, B-O-L-O-G-N-A, for all you guys that were like, oh yeah, that's how you spell it. Um, okay, the second set of clips I'll show you, um, we'll, f we'll first show the actual commercial, and then the second one will show you how it was made, which I find very intriguing. Um, I like to know how things were done before they go to air. So let's roll this first one. I want my baby back. Chili's, baby back ribs. Mm, I want yeah. my baby back ribs. Chili's, baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. I got my baby back ribs. Oh, the, the magic of Hollywood. Now, that was the commercial, and I think, you know, we all know it. And so here is how it actually was made. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. Barbecue soul. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back ribs. I want my baby back. I'm going to be singing that forever and ever. And seriously, we talked about how we don't have food on the show. Now we want chili. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, the morning team, you know, we all have early wake-up times, 3.30 in the morning. But did you know there is uh, really a best part of waking up? And you might know this one. <laughs> Nothing brightens your morning like Mountain Grown Folgers because Mountain Grown Coffee has more enticing aroma and richer flavor than any other kind. That rich aromatic blend, your best morning friend, start you off feeling good. The day goes like a jerk. The best. Oh my God, Folgers in your cup. I don't even drink coffee. If you watch the show, you know I drink water mainly, but that commercial just makes me want some Folgers in my cup. Um, Jeremy, you want to come in or were you paying attention? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you come on in. No, I was just saying, um, we, uh, we showed a clip of that on Monday with Kenya. Kenya's, oh. friend, Kenya's friend wrote the Folgers theme song. Oh my gosh, did she sing it as well? Because that woman no, had a no, really no, no, great no, no. voice. No, no, a, a guy wrote it, but it's this guy who's in a band who actually wrote that years ago, the Folgers <gasps> thing. We had showed a whole thing of um, just classic commercials. Oh, on Monday. God, okay. okay. I'm no, so when sorry. You it, I was like, okay, Kenny was just talking, like, I didn't know, and I showed it, and Kenny goes, hey, I know the guy who wrote that song, R wrote the jingle. And I went, yeah. wait, what? <laughs> how do you? How do you even know? Because Barry Mandelow is very famous for writing a lot of jingles like the Band-Aid. Okay. But I was just like, Kenny, how impressive that she was, he's a very nice guy, and I'm like, because they've done iterations of that same jingle over the years. Yeah. Different ways, different voices, different settings, yeah. you know, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's really. Yeah, well, I, um, I was torn between the Folders commercial and a different one yesterday, so I asked Geraldo, I go, which one resonates more with you, like as a younger consumer? And he said Folders, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go with yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. But the Baby Back Ribs one, I really just, like I said, I found it so intriguing, because you have the you know, magic of Hollywood of these actors, commercial actors, acting like they're singing, but then when you see behind the veil, mm -hmm. you know, you got actual performers, so. 
Well, yeah, it has to come from somewhere. It has right? to come from somewhere. Yeah, I was in a doo-wop group in college, and we performed at Six Flags. So that kind of like four-part harmony guy stuff just like is right at my alley. I'm like, oh, I miss singing with the fellas on that because it just makes you want to sing with your friends again. Sing with your friends, I know. So, you guys, I hope these clips took you down a nice walk uh, memory lane. Again, if you have anything that you want to see during the shot of serotonin, you can hit me up on Facebook. Let me know because I know there are so many commercials, so many jingles, so many things that, from the past that maybe I'm not privy to, given that I was born in 92. I'm not saying that to rub anything Somebody's in. Somebody's bragging. I'm not bragging. Somebody's I'm just saying bragging. inspiration. I mean, like I said, Angry well, Producer Charlie. I like hot dogs. I do not like bologna, though. That is I so like weird to me. And I like spam, and I don't like bologna. I know. Well, and everyone, like my dad, he basically eats everything, but he will not eat a bologna and ketchup sandwich. He thinks it's the you most disgusting thing. You about. know what I think it is, though? I think it's because I don't, maybe I need to try, I think we ate them on the show. Producer Jake, correct me if I'm wrong, a fried bologna sandwich. The cold bologna on bread with cheese does not do it. Hot dogs oh, have to be hot for me to eat them. Like a cooked hot dog in mac and cheese or a hot dog in a bun. A cold hot dog I would not eat. And so I think it's a, it's a heat thing with the bologna because I don't want the bologna cold. Well, I'm gonna expand your horizons and maybe we do go back and recreate a you know fried bologna I, sandwich. Listen, I will put my money where my mouth is. If you make me a, a cold bologna and cheese sandwich with mayonnaise though, on the show. Okay. You don't like mayonnaise? What do you put on it? <laughs> ketchup, I just said. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's a hot dog just flattened out, that's what I was saying. So wait, you put ketchup, no mustard? No. To me, mayo would be the best, right? Well, well let's do different iterations. If you make me bologna sandwich, I will try it in the show. You, you made me spam, I'll make you bologna. I'm just saying, I will, I will <laughs> put my money where the mouth is, I will expand my palates. All right. I'll try to think of things I don't like that you can make for me. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, don't go anywhere, so much more fun on the Dark Spock after this. I'll try it on the show. I mean, I, I haven't had one in years. Well,